Hey there! Welcome back to our email deliverability challenge month. Today, we're gonna take a look at something a little less obvious: your email service provider, or ESP for short. Now, not all email service providers are the same. Some are ideal for casual use, hi mom. Some for inbound campaigns and marketing newsletters, and others are just perfect for cold outreach. But what is the difference? And more importantly, what are the consequences for your deliverability if you pick the wrong one? The most important question you have to ask yourself when picking an email service provider is, how many emails do I want to send? If you are emailing cold leads, you're doing outbound email campaigns. If you are emailing existing customers and warm leads, you are doing inbound campaigns. But why does this matter? The two differ big time in terms of volume, engagement, and content, which are some of the most important factors of your email deliverability. If you're using an email service provider meant for personal emailing to send inbound marketing emails, you run your deliverability into the ground with a sheer volume of emails you're sending. Engagement expectations also differ. Email providers meant for personal campaigns expect a higher level of engagement. So which email service providers do you need? For high volume inbound email campaigns, consider SendGrid, SendPals, Mailgun, or Amazon SaaS. They are the champions of bulk sending. We're talking about thousands of emails every day. If, however, you're looking to send highly targeted low volume campaigns to cold leads, you can use Gmail, Outlook. They are ideal if you're targeting fewer than 100 recipients with an expected reply rate of at least 10% or more. We often get Gmail related questions. Can I use this email provider for my cold campaigns? How many emails can I send without being banned? And the list goes on. Let's clear the fog around Gmail and state it once and for all. Never send large volumes of emails via Gmail. Simply don't. This email provider expects your recipients to reply to you and you to send highly relevant emails. Yet, there is a way to use Gmail for bulk campaigns. If done smart, you will avoid bans and blacklists and achieve stellar KPIs. Here's what you can do. Firstly, secure yourself with email accounts and separate domain or domains that will be used specifically for cold outreach. In case some of them get banned, your main domain will stay safe. For this, you need to purchase several domains, for example, from Namecheap. Choose the names that look similar to your main domain name. Set up an email business account. Don't rely on a free Gmail account as they are intended for personal use only, meaning Google will keep a close eye on your outgoing emails. Use an SMTP relay service to authenticate your email as genuinely coming from you. You can connect your Gmail account via SMTP in your Snobby account. Don't exceed Gmail limits. Business accounts are allowed to send up to 2,000 emails per day for a maximum of 100 recipients per email. Connect multiple accounts. Your customers will still recognize the name and you can also maximize your Gmail email potential. Send relevant, high-quality messages to your ideal customers. Keep an eye on your sender reputation. Focus on getting a reply from your recipients. Even a simple yes-no answer will prove the relevance of your email to the leads. Choosing the wrong email service provider is a surefire way to destroy your domain reputation, lead your email straight to the spam folder, or even get blacklisted by your email provider altogether. That's why your challenge for today is to review what email provider you're using for your campaigns. If it's Google, tailor it to your business needs and feel confident about your deliverability rates. Share your thoughts in the comments let us know if you're made a misstep with your provider choice, which providers work best for you, and leave us any questions you might have. See you!